Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Fair. My first name is Fred and here on my channel, I love to make textured hair and lifestyle type content. So if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and do me a favor. Make sure you subscribe before you go. Leave a comment and say hello. Don't be rude. But if you don't want to speak, if you are a little shy, I completely understand, but just be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss another upload. And let's go ahead and get into this video because I am so excited about these products. If you follow me on all of the things, you know I have been talking about these products for like the last three weeks and I have been anticipating the day that I could try out the brand new press play system from The Do. What's so special about this press play system? I'll tell you. Press play is The Do's new thermal styling system that also contains bonding technology and I am a kinky coily girl that loves all things bonding. Especially because I like to apply heat and also color my hair and I am currently on a length retention journey so anything that I can do to protect my hair while still having fun I'm all for it and I just love to see a brand that you can run out and get your hands on very easily accessible because you can pick all of these products up at Target. Now I'm not going to give you all the details right now. I want you to watch this entire video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, hop in the shower and shampoo my hair. I don't really feel like setting up in the shower, but I will come back and apply the conditioner and tell you all the things about each and every step that we're about to take today. Y'all, I thought my pump was broke. It took so many pumps for me to get this shampoo to start coming out. But once it did, we were good. I'm gonna give y'all a little look into what it looks like. That's just a drop. They said to use it generously and that's exactly what I did, but it's thick, it's pearlized. It has this sweet scent to it that honestly reminds me of going to the hair salon as a child. It's crazy, like it's really, really good. I can, let me wipe this off, hold on. Yes, my hair feels really good. Um, I could honestly feel my coils forming like as I let the shampoo sit. Now it was part of the directions to let the shampoo sit for two to three minutes, which is something I recommend doing with all shampoos, but I followed the directions and that's exactly what I did and this is what Fred is giving. He is fully cleansed, fully reset, bond protected, and ready to be conditioned. I don't even think I showed you. Press Rewind is the name of the shampoo and it is their curl retention shampoo. So you can use this to prep your hair for straightening or heat styling and also use it to revert back. Fast forward is their heat prep conditioner. I just love the do. It, the packaging just does it for me, I tell you. Now I do have my spray bottle right here beside me because typically I like to condition my hair on soaking wet hair. I just feel like that works for me. Also, I'm gonna add just a little bit of heat just because that has really been working for my hair lately. So let's get into what the directions actually say. After cleansing the Dew's Press Rewind Curl Reversion Shampoo, apply a generous amount from scalp to ends. Gently detangle with fingers or a detangling tool starting at the ends and working up toward the scalp. Allow to sit for three to five minutes, then rinse thoroughly. I have to start by saying that I had the exact same issue with the pump. It took me forever and 13 days to start getting product out of the pump. But anywho, about this conditioner, I ended up using about a pump and a half to two pumps on each section and I decided not to use heat. I wanted to follow the directions exactly as they were. Just like I do with other conditioners, I'm squeezing the product into my strands. I also would recommend using this on soaking wet hair. That's just my preference because this is a really thick conditioner and I feel like the, the addition of more water helped to kind of spread it. And that way you don't have to use as much product either. Per usual, I rinsed it out a little bit before I detangled and once it was fully rinsed out, my hair felt extremely strong. So now we can finally get into the styling portion of this video. I decided to go in with silent treatment, which is like their heat activated, anti-humidity, anti-frizz protectant. I only used three sprays, well maybe four, to each section and I made sure I brushed that through, making sure my 
strands are fully coated and the product is evenly distributed now one thing that i feel like helped me throughout this process was one keeping my textured hair stretched as much as possible and detangled silent treatment does contain keratin and like i said before it is anti-frizz so it is supposed to combat your textured hair from reverting as easily while fighting humidity and as of today that i'm doing this voiceover it's been about a week since i have straightened my hair and my hair is starting Starting to frizz up just a bit but not as bad as it could be I also have to mention that my hair does have more of a luster and shine to it and I really like that these products are lightweight silent treatment did a great job for this blowout my hair was smooth and I was able to run my fingers through it and look at the movement for your hair you down with OPP not that OPP but the one pass press that is the next step that we're doing this product is said to tame coarse texture and smooth the cuticle reducing excess tension during the silkening process it says to shake well and lightly mist over dry hair before using heat tools so that part i actually did and then of course i brushed it through because i wanted to make sure every strand was coated because we're about to go in and use this dyson corral on 410. Now, when I silk press myself at home, I like to really take my time. So this is actually sped up just a little bit, but I want you guys to see the look on my face after that one pass. My hair was so soft. To be honest, I really didn't need to do a second pass. I just did it out of habit and hopefully the heat protector worked the same because I left it on the same temperature, but we shall see. It really didn't take me a long time to do my entire head and I was elated about that but also get into these results my hair is shiny we've got movement and honestly it really isn't a lot of steps I know people have complained about that but it's literally been two other products outside of washing and conditioning my hair I decided to set my silk press by using dew drops. It shines, seals, and protects to prevent heat damage before, during, and after the use of heat tools. So honestly, you could do this at any step, but I just decided to spray my hair lightly, brush it through, and wrap my hair before I went to bed. Okay, so before we even get into the results that you see before your very eyes, let's talk about these products one last time, one by one for my final review. These two together are so good. This is the Press Rewind Curl Retention Shampoo and the Fast Forward Heat Prep Conditioner. I did not expect my hair to feel that strengthened when I rinsed it out, that's what I would say. Maya, she suggests that you use this a couple of wash days before going into a silk press and just kind of add it into your regular maintenance. I'm very much pro bonding treatments. So if you want to just start somewhere, I really suggest that you start here. These were really good. So next we have silent treatment, which actually reminds me of a product that I have already used on my channel that also fights humidity that it's very popular video if you haven't seen it um so don't be nervous in my opinion that this says a 30-day thermal protectant spray especially if you want it to work like it's supposed to it's supposed to fight that humidity and like don't let that scare you because even though it says that it might take one to two washes for it to completely rinse out but that's normal with any time that you go into a silk press like your hair may not bounce all the way back so i don't hesitate from using this i suggest buying the entire system if you want to straighten your hair just because I, that's just how i operate but anyways moving on this right here was the standout star in my opinion opp one pass press heat protection spray and when i tell you i don't know like my mouth dropped after that first pass because I had never felt my hair feel that silky and straight from one pass at home, especially using the straightener that I use. This was really good. I followed the directions to a T so I did not use too much. We're gonna see how my hair reverts, 
but this was so so good this exceeded my expectations like like i said this was the star in my opinion and of course i finished off with the dew drops bonding polish and it just gave my hair like a nice little serum-y coat you don't need too much of it i used it today to curl my hair i wanted to use the wrap lotion to like curl my hair but i'm nervous my hair is gonna revert so like check back for a short or tiktok or something like that but I use this to curl my hair and I feel like the curls are lasting. It's doing what it needs to do. And what I love most is that this is just layers of bonding. Like in every step, you are just adding to the protection of your hair. And for a kinky coily texture girl like me, that is very important. I am a bond treatment ambassador, okay? Simply because I like to do all the things to my hair obviously like i like the color i like the heat i like to be flexible when it comes to my hair but i am also someone who loves her wash and goes who absolutely loves my natural hair texture so would i recommend this line absolutely i would say follow the directions at least the first time that you use it like don't go playing around with it the first time that you use it because you don't really know how things work until you use it as prescribed okay look i used it as prescribed now the only product that i didn't use was the just glaze silkening fluid and that is because i used the silent treatment um i would probably use this if i was going to do like a flexi set or something with like a blown out style i will probably use this in the future but today i wanted to get the full effect and try out this silent treatment so all in all like i liked it i love that it's a system i love that you can run out and buy this at target i love the i love the progress that we are making in the textured natural hair community and this was everything that i needed it to be so comment down below if you've already tried it if you're going to try it or just let me know your thoughts in general thank you guys so much for watching i truly appreciate each and every one of you and i will see y'all in the next one